Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about another Windows tweaker and optimizer tool to add to our ever-growing playlist of Windows tweaking apps. So this one's simply called Optimizer. So it's just an executable that you download and then you run it and you'll have a variety of sections here. So we'll just kind of go through each one of these sections and show you what your options are and then you could try it out for yourself if you like it. All right, so we have the general tab here uh, with various options here for system such as showing all notifications, disabling error reporting. Then we have a disk drive section here if you want to disable system restore, disable hibernation. Then up here we have an app section, such as disable office telemetry, disable NVIDIA telemetry, a privacy section here, disable telemetry tests, and so on. All right, and then we have a Windows 11 setting here. So I think if you're using Windows 10, this will actually say Windows 10. I'm not positive, but I know it used to say Windows 10 uh, before it was upgraded to work with Windows 11. And one thing you have to keep in mind for these Windows 11 tweaks is that Microsoft tends to find ways to disable them. So if it doesn't work, then it might be the build of Windows 11 that you're using. So we have some options here, such as restore the classic file explorer, hide the taskbar search. We'll try that one. You can see that happens instantly there. So while we're here, let's close this and we'll try the classic file explorer. So on some of these, you're going to have to restart to have the changes take effect here. So we'll be back when this is restarted and see if it worked. All right, so we're back. And one thing I will mention too is instead of restarting the computer, for a lot of these, you could probably just uh, restart Windows Explorer from Task Manager to accomplish the same thing. Okay, you can see that one did not work, but there is still a way to bring back the classic File Explorer ribbon interface. So we did a video on that if you want to check that out. So that's an example of how some of these will not work depending on your build of Windows 11. Okay, let's go back in here. All right, back to Windows 11 here. So then we can uncheck that and we'll restart later. All right, then we have some other options here, such as disable the TPM check, which may or may not work. If you want to try and bring back the classic photo viewer, you could do that. This probably will not work since Microsoft seems to find ways around these tweaks to disable automatic updates. This might work though. Okay, then these are easy. Disable widgets, disable chat and stickers. More privacy options here. Some gaming options, touch options, and then there's some extras. You can see Disable Copilot, how it went away there in the corner. Okay, UWP apps. So you could go through and find the ones you don't want and then uninstall. You could have it show only uninstallable apps. So there's quite a bit in here. Let's say we don't want the Microsoft Gaming. Uninstall. So then you can refresh. And then that should be gone from the list here. All right, then startup items here. So if you want to disable something, you could do so from here and also locate the file, find it in the registry, do a backup and restore of your items. All right, then we have our apps here. So these are not apps on your computer. These are apps that you could install if you want to add some additional functionality. So let's say we wanted 7-Zip. You could check this box, install after downloading and download. You could also change the download folder if you want. So we'll just put, use the UI, well, put it on the desktop for now. Okay, we'll do that. You can see it's downloading and then it's going to run the setup right afterwards. All right, so 7-Zip is now installed. Okay, close this little log file here. Yes, we know. And now we have 7-Zip. All right, so a lot of apps here you could play with. Just a nice way to be able to install them all from one place. Broken down into sections here. Okay, then we have a cleaner section. So if you want to do some cleanup of temporary files, let's try that for example. We could analyze. Shows us what it's going to do. 
And okay, click on clean and get rid of them. And it even tells you how much it's going to free up. All right, then some browser cleanup as well. This will even list browsers that you don't have, like this computer doesn't have Brave or Firefox, but it still shows as an option. All right, network section. If you want to change your DNS settings, you could do that. Custom DNS, flush your DNS cache, open your network connections. Okay, if you want to edit your host file without having to open it up, you could do that from here. Uh, registry fixes, not a big fan of these, so you might want to skip this part here because sometimes you'll end up making things worse. All right, hardware. So this shows you information about the hardware on the computer. And you could save it or copy it if you want to have a record of it or send it to somebody else. So that's some useful information. All right, then we have integrator. So this is used to add fully customized items in desktop right-click menu. So you could add or modify here. If you want to create custom right-click options, delete. So if you have some existing ones, you could delete them. Pre-made menus. Let's try this add power menu. Let's try Windows Explorer restart instead of restarting the computer. We'll see if that works for this one. Okay, let's see if we have anything here. All right, so we have our power menu here that it added. So that's nice. All right, then, then we have the run dialog for custom run commands. And here are some existing commands you could delete. Uh, system variables, if you want to edit those from here, you could do it from the uh, window settings as well. And then if you want to play with your fonts here, you could uh, do that as well. All right, then we have the options at the end here, color theme. You could have it start with Windows, show in the quick access menu, update it on launch, check for updates, some troubleshooting, change your language, and that's about it. All right, so as you can see, there is quite a bit you could do with the optimizer tool, and it's free to use. So I will say, when you use these, make sure you create a system restore point before you start messing around, just in case something blows up, because then you don't want to have to be doing a Windows reinstall to fix it. All right, so I'll put a link in the description for Optimizer, then you can check it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.